what's in the box? Hey everyone, it's Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. It's Father's Day, and here's a special Joe Blow Top 10 episode for you guys. It's the Top 10 Dads from Movies. Number 10 is Dennis Hopper from True Romance. This one is a sad one, but not having seen his son for over three years, Christian Slater shows up in trouble and Dennis Hopper is ready to protect his son. And later on, he proves it in a meeting with Christopher Walken. I haven't heard from you in three years. You show up all of a sudden, at 8 o'clock in the morning, you walk in here like a goddamn bulldozer. And don't get me wrong, I love you, I'm glad to see you. But slow it down, man. All right? Now, when did you get married? Number nine is Eugene Levy from American Pie. Now, what kind of father would you be if you didn't cover for your son after finding him in this predicament? What an awesome dad to sit down and talk about it so you both can get your story straight from mom. Uh, uh. Oh, Jim? It's not what it looks like. Well, we'll just tell your mother that, uh, that uh, we ate it all. At number eight is Robin Williams as Mrs. Doubtfire. We all remember him in the dress acting motherly with his British accent, but so many people forget the whole reason for him to do this was to see his kids and be with them during a nasty separation from his wife. Hello. Mrs. Hillard, I presume? Yes. I'm Miranda Hillard. Euphigenia Doubtfire. Oh, yes. Won't you please come in? Thank you, dear. And these must be the cherubs. Yes. This is Natalie. Oh, hello, Natalie. Are you wearing bug spray? Oh, Natty. Oh, it's quite all right, dear. No offense taken. I was a little liberal with the atomizer. <laughs> and at my age, dear, you know, it's like a good stilt and everything does have its old aroma. <laughs> I admire that honesty, naturally. Number seven is Superman's dad, Jor-El. Take your pick of Marlon Brando from Superman or Russell Crowe from Man of Steel. Both of them serve the same role and provide the same solution for Kal-El to save him from the destruction of their planet. What are dads for? He'll be fast. Virtually invulnerable. Isolated. Alone. He will not be alone. He will never be alone. Number six is Sean Connery as Henry Jones Sr. from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. How awesome would it be to have a father that was just as crazy and adventurous as you are, not to mention sharing the same taste in women.
That's how Austrians say goodbye. Number five is Darth Vader. I know, I know, he wasn't exactly there for his twins growing up. And it's hard to get along with someone who cut the hand off his son and helped to blow up the planet where his daughter lived. But he finally comes around in the end and destroys the Emperor to keep his son and daughter safe. No. Go, my son. Leave me. No, you're coming with me. I'll not leave you here. I've got to save you. You already have. Look, you were right. You were right about me. Tell your sister. You were right. Number four is Liam Neeson from Taken. I think most fathers would quickly threaten people on the phone when their son or daughter is kidnapped, but not too many could actually follow through with the threats in a way he does in this movie. Do what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Number three is Michael Keaton as Jack Butler in Mr. Mom. This is a classic that truly shows how inept most dads really are in the roles of mom. But don't we all deserve a father who really, really tries to make it being the mom of the house? Dad, you passed it. Passed what? We're right on time. But Dad, you're doing it wrong. Mommy doesn't do it like this. We're gonna do it the Jack Butler method. What is this? This is nuts. <laughs> Why are they all honking? Because you're doing it wrong. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. I know how to do this. Hi, Jack. I'm a Nat. Hi. You're doing it wrong. Hey. Number two is Arnold Schwarzenegger as John Matrix in Commando. This is another scenario along the lines of Taken where his daughter is kidnapped and he has to rescue her. And boy does he leave a body count in doing so. Plus, if he was your dad, your last name would be Matrix. Leave anything for us? Just bodies. I'd just like you to start off your unit again, John. All it would take is you're coming back. This was the last time. Until the next time. And number one is Chevy Chase as Clark Griswold from the National Lampoon Vacation franchise. He's the all-American father, the family patriarch everyone can relate to. And all he wants to do is take his family on vacation, damn it. Hey, it's a little fun, okay? Whatever happens, just trust me. Will you just trust me? Huh, kids? Sorry, folks. Park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. Yes, uh, we're here to see Mr. Roy Wally. What is your name, sir? Clark W. Griswold. What's this regarding, Mr. Grizzle? Uh, we're here for public amusement relations or a, a summer inspection to a personal matter. Ah, oh. inspection. Well, nobody, uh, nobody notified this office of, um, of anything. Well, uh, I'm notifying you. I'm afraid I'm gonna need a little more than that, sir. Okie dokie. How's this? Clark, have you lost your mind? Where did you get that? Sporty goods store, honey. Now you listen to me, fat ass. You do what I say and there won't be any problem, okay? Okay. We just drove 2,460 miles just for a little Roy Wally entertainment. The moose says you're closed, I say you're open. We're not really violent people. 
This is our first gun. And that wraps up another Joe Blow Top 10. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, and tell us below who your favorite father figure is from movies. I'm Jason Dean. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe.